good afternoon. I'm Kim Bishop with Haywood County. Happy Haywood, Brownsville, Tennessee. Uh, a happy place to live where it's happening. So what we're doing is we're interviewing a lot of our residents that have lived here and come back or maybe have just uh, come here uh, as a, a fresh start. We're talking to uh, Miss Fabiola Escobar today. It's great to have you with us. Thank you for deciding to come talk with us about your positive experiences here in Brownsville and Haywood County. Tell me a little bit about your story. Well, uh, first of all, thank you for um, asking me to come today. Um, so I actually uh, moved to Haywood when I was six years old. Okay. Um, my dad um, traveled a lot. He uh, did a lot of work in factories. So um, he ended up having a cousin that moved here. Um, in the early 90s and so in 1998 we moved to Haywood County and um, I've been here ever since. <laughs> and the rest is history. So what are you yes. doing now? Um, I am a physical therapist for uh, Dynamics Physical Therapy. Um, I uh, went to the University of Evansville in Evansville, Indiana for okay. therapy school. Um, so when I finished there I knew I wanted to be close to home or come back home so exactly. here I am. <laughs> well I'm a lifelong resident of Brownsville and Haywood County so I grew up here and had a lot of opportunities in life with my husband to move off and listen I'm 54 years old and still in Haywood County we love it. Well I know you have a lot of background about Haywood County but what made what made you decide to finally come here and make Brownsville your home? Um, so when I graduated high school, um, I actually stayed close to home, so I went to Union, graduated in 2014 from there, and so when I was applying to therapy school, I was like, maybe I should venture out a little bit and yeah. see what's out there, um, and I did, and so after completing uh, therapy school, um, I really like um, Haywood County just for the tight-knit community that we have here, and then it also made a difference that my family lives here, and so I um, wanted to be close to them. Yes. Um, so that's one of the reasons we kind of decided to move back. So Fabiola, is there anything about Brownsville and Haywood County that surprised you? Um, I guess, uh, so back when I moved here back in 98, um, I guess the biggest thing um, that surprised me, how small it was. So the town where I grew up in Mexico, um, Guanajuato, Mexico. It was actually um, a bigger town, so I was actually surprised about how small it was here and that we couldn't just walk everywhere like I was used to. Um, the town where I came from, you just walked. You walked to the store, you know, you just did all that. And we lived um, out in the county, so about five miles from oh, yeah. town. So we could definitely not walk to town. I grew up like five miles <laughs> from town. So that's, um, that's one thing that I was like, wow, I didn't realize we had to drive everywhere. <laughs> yeah, well that's great. So is there anything that you would love to see happen in Brownsville that would make us even a happier, more happening place? Um, so um, I, I like to see uh, improvement in um, like the sidewalks that we have. That's been really nice, especially for people walking and running, which has been great. But another thing that um, I would like to see is more um, uh, and uh, I think uh, taking advantage of all the diversity that we have here in Haywood County, exactly. I think it would be great for us to um, really learn from each other and be uh, find ways to be a more uh, knit community. Um, I think that would uh, make a big difference for our community. So it's little differences that make a, a whole lot of change. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Thank you for interviewing with us. And remember, it is happening in Haywood County, a great place to live.